Hello everyone, I am Vikram Aditya here. Welcome to GH Soft Tech. And in this session, we are going to discuss about the success factors. Uh, it's becoming very popular uh, in the SAP platform, which has been recently acquired. So let's know what exactly is success factors. And this is something which we all have to know in the SAP platform uh, because we need should, we need to be aware of what are the latest things happening in the uh, in the in the SAP world. And before getting into the concept of success factors, let's first understand what exactly is success factors. Success factors is a human capital management solution which has been acquired by SAP. Uh, I repeat this concept is very important. It's a success factors was an independent solution for human capital management which was which was primarily based on cloud which has been acquired by SAP. So let's look at the history of uh, SAP solution for SAP HR. So in, in HR human resources, SAP launched a human resources solution in 1986 and in 2001, they launched ESS MSS, that's, that's Employee Shared Services and uh, Manager Shared Services. They also launched e-learning and e-recruiting as well as a part of the uh, upgradation on the human, human resources platform. And uh, these solutions were being upgraded by uh, SAP acquiring success factors in 2011. So from 2001 to 2009, the goal and performance management, compensation management and variable pay, success, succession management, deployment, deployment planning, recruitment management, workforce planning and, and analytics were all being a part of it. And th these are all the part of the success factors and success factors in it was actually been launched in 2001. That was that that's the year when success factors was born and it it, it went on till 2009. But then uh, SAP acquired uh, success factors and it merged it completely in 2011. From 2010 to 2012, the team rater calibration goal execution employee central core core H HRIS were been introduced and uh, then jam collaboration learning management uh, biz mobile and uh, headlines were also being launched in 2013 the onboarding process was been introduced in this success factors platform global platform recruitment marketing time off management skill library these were all being launched in 2003 13 and 2014 the presentations employee central service center employee central global benefits were been introduced now there are, there are some figures, extremely uh, uh, important figures that I'm going to share it with you. SAP has enabled HR solutions all over the world for 28 years. 45 plus million success factors users in 177 countries with 16 years of cloud HR experience. And we have global expertise around 25 industries. That's the count of success factors. So success factors has reached more than 45 plus million. Now the success factors cloud footprint, it was like um, 45, 46 million uh, around somewhere around roughly around 46 million, uh, 46 million users, 6,200 customers. So the performance and goals 43.4 million, learning 29.6 million, compensation 18.2 million, Succession and development is being used by 21.2 million and uh, SAP Jam was used by 42.5 million, recruitment 21.6 million, onboarding process 12 million, employee central 15 million and uh, workforce analytics and planning was used by almost 12.3 million people. Used. So as we already discussed, the success factors cloud footprint in 46 46 plus uh, 46 million plus users 6200 customers and in this customers the cloud human capital customers uh, were around 6200 and 46 million users who are like uh, uh, all different areas of uh, places where uh, they've been uh, the customers were uh, the global ex expertise configurable for any country so success factors is configurable for any country localized in 81 countries and uh, global fields, national IDs, address formats, country specific fields and business rules, local holidays, time zones and currencies were all been configured here. And these are all configurable actually in the, uh, it, it's been enabled so. And payroll for 40 countries, payroll can be generated here. Integration to local providers and tax authorities. 
local payroll rules as well and delivered in 42 languages better with sap so now after the success factor has been in, in integrated with sap we have 1860 plus customers with sap erp and cloud human capital management 1800 plus customers uh, sap hcm and cloud hcm 60, 650 plus customers for uh, ec and erp 570 plus customers uh, with the ec and hcm sap hcm so packaged integration available for sap erp and sap hcm customers now let's understand why success factors is so popular and it clicked so well now when we talk about power of one the solution is made up using a unique platform expanding its capabilities so it's power of one so example is workday and we have the solution is if power of many the solution is made up using multiple acquired platforms and integrated um, that's something uh, the success factors and when we have this niche players like the solution is a unique platform and is covering one specific hr area so in in the first and sec in third scenario you know the reach is not huge but when it comes to power of many the, the reach is huge so when we have niche players we have uh, better works as an example uh, so workday is something which is very unique but it's like uh, not having that much reach as we have it in the success factors so the success factors runs on the cloud in memory computing platform primarily on hana database we have a uh, core hr employee central we have employee record organizational management payroll shared services timesheet global benefits all these are part of the core hr the competencies are like skills best practices and all recruitment on onboarding is covered learning has been taken care of performance management is taken care of compensation management succession and development is also been taken care of in the in this platform and we have mobile uh, the, the interface would be even you can check you can you can connect to the success factors through your mobile phones and any uh, any other social networking as well and it is also get analytics where we can see the stats of the of the data instantly Okay, this is the onboarding process wherein like uh, from new hires to productive employees uh, i mean the, the success factor system takes care of uh, uh, taking care of the new joiners and then building them as uh, productive employees of the company is what uh, the entire process will be taken care of by the success factors we have uh, the hr department you know or hires them and then they 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 seamless uh, they have the seamless uh, onboarding they have the training facilities uh, been taken care of by the uh, software and rest of all the things which comes in middle of uh, you know joining to the to make them as a productive employee in recruitment also they have the the best uh, approach wherein we have the process marketing and engagement in process we have diversity time to hire uh, when to hire it when to hire the resources and all and diversity in what diverse fields that we need to hire and marketing employer brand and engagement talent pools internal mobility content sharing creation of community communities and all these things now we have the employee central a one-stop shop wherein we have all the staff i mean uh, all worker worker types like consolidated views of workforce and it takes care of the global in-country product managers, cross-platform uh, employees, and end-to-end -end, uh, co covers key areas of core HR, workflows and approvals, and managers, a manager employee self-services also are being taken care of. And SAP Success Factors has been a, has been a very good success because of the seamless integration between uh, various platforms and uh, the various ways we can uh, we can access the success factors various products through which we can access it we have sap and key partners can in turn uh, have this apis we have the success factors so it been integrated with the success cloud platform sap cloud platform and then we have the package to integration content so in this we have this success factors is uh, something which integrates with the sap through sap cloud platform so basically we have a sap cloud platform on which uh, this success factors runs we basically have two ways of uh, two ways to manage the extensibility of our solution like uh, we have uh, key users 
the metadata framework extend application with customer object customer user interfaces and business rules no coding is required and then we have the configurable application where we have the extend deliver delivered objects by configuring labels required fields pick, pick lists and adding customer fields complete cloud platform as a service so we have development and hosting environment allows creation of any application with the use of a development team now here are the deployment options that we have for sap success factors we have on premise and we have cloud if it all if you are going for on premise uh, edition we have the core hr and sap erp and when it comes to the cloud we have the talent solutions the workforce planning and analytics and then we have the talent hybrid we have full cloud hcm as well wherein like uh, you we have the cloud hr core hr talent solutions and workforce uh, planning and analytics then we have the side by side hcm wherein we have the talent solutions as the cloud core hr so we can either have the cloud platform we can we can maintain it either on cloud or on the on premise or the hybrid one wherein we can have a few of them on cloud and a few of them on the on premise now here is a quick deployment uh, solution that we just need to understand from the eagle or eagle's view then we have this uh, understand the business and it environment where we have to define requirements then we have to collect uh, all the uh, all the sas uh, module information after that we need to get into this uh, the sas interactive design when we we look into the business process configuration conver conversion then we take care of the conduct a, you know iteration review workshops um, it's basically um, kind of a agile kind of a process we have document gaps for next uh, iteration and review and then we have in in case like if if everything goes well we have the exit to test or we again have to modify complete the business process configuration again modify the conversion loads and then you you get back to the uh, get back to the test so the the success factors implementation project is similar to our any any other sap implementation project where we have this uh, phases different phases in uh, we have uh, the the strategy business cases uh, we have the solution selection implementation integration support deployment post go live change management and hr process review and uh, maturity assessments these are the things that we have in the phases so this is our sap rapid deployment solutions uh, wherein we have the a focus on fixed scope and price okay what exactly is rds is it's a predefined configured uh, pre-configured solution which can have a quick fix of uh, the implementation part it will reduce the time and cost of the implementation of uh, sap success factors so in this is a focus on fixed scope and price to yield maximum predictability and lower risk each service includes a complete set of uh, delivery content covering the implementation from kickoff through go live clear guidance on scope customer allowed refinements and uh, project team responsibilities content in place to manage the delivery of the project and test guidance via training and test guideline documentation and thanks for watching this video and if at all if you if you would like to get more uh, notifications on our latest uh, updates and, and videos uh, do subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash jsoftech and uh, if at all if you are looking out for any kind of content trainings you can contact contact us at training at rejsfd.com and if, if at all if you are looking out for any kind of jobs you can contact us jobs at rejsfd.com thank you <coughs> have a great day